Hello YouTube and uh, this is my name is Muhammad Rami and on this tutorial I'll actually show you how to create a table view just using code without using the storyboard so this is what a table view looks like so this is just in the default Apple settings and this is what a table view looks like so let's get started so first of all we have to create a new project and let's just create a simple uh, single view application and let, in this case let's just name it table and save it to the desktop once the project is, cre is created it will give you these files you would have the storyboard which has the view controller and on regular circumstances people just drag drag and drop UI elements over here and then we have the view controller but in our case we're going to use the view controller to to, to generate the table view so we're going to do it all through code so the first thing we want to do is implement a couple classes one of them is a UI table view delegate and the other is a UI table view data source so what this does is actually is actually show uh, tell this class that you know we are going to use you as a data source and as a delegate for the table view so let's define the table view let's just call it a uh, table view and let's define the type it's table view and let's just set it equal to a closure so i like to use closures because i can define all the properties of that particular element so let's define another view inside the closure and set it to a ui table view and once so we have to add properties to this view right so view.register we have to register it to kind of tell it where to get its cell from so you ui table view cell dot self dot self so for the string identifier it needs to identify the cell by a string and so that's in this case I just call it cell another thing we need to do is actually tell the table view that hey we don't need you we don't need you to auto resize yourself to a certain spot we, we're basically telling it you know we will give you this we will give you the specific x and y axis that you will occupy and once we're done with that we just return the view just return the view and then the setup of the table view is done so a table a table view as you guys know would require a couple functions one of them is the number of sections number of sections that a table view would have in this case we just return one because we just need one section at least in for, uh, for this tutorial now, another function would be number of rows in section and this is and this just basically means how many cells do you want us to generate and let's generate uh let's just say 12 or let's just say 17 just to have something to scroll on and the, the last function we need is uh cell at in for index at row so what this does is this is the function that actually generates the cell and it and it helps us tell tell the table view what should be inside the cell so we should define a cell in here and we should set it to ui table view cell ui table view cell and we use this one and for the style we just set it to default in this tutorial and for the string identifier we're going to use the same identifier that we used over here otherwise you won't recognize it so once that is done we have to uh, tell the cell what what the content of the cell would have to be so text label oops I forgot to so the text label the text would equal to a string so let's in this case let's just, let's just say hello just to make it simple but if you were to build a real application you would probably get get the information from a from an array or a dictionary or something like that and once we're done we we return the cell so we're actually done with the table view setup so now we actually have to go to the view to the view did load and actually add add the table view to the to the main view so the first thing we need to do is grab the let's just say self so what self does is actually telling it hey we're talking about the main view over here so self the view then add sub view so we need to add the table view that we that we already created 
So since we added a table view, we knew, well, now we need to tell a table view what its data source is and what its delegate is. So its data source is self, so that self meaning the view, this view controller. And the table and table view dot delegate calls to self, which means this view controller. So now since it know it knows its delegate and its data source, it needs to know what height it has to have uh, or, or and, and what's the width. So we can do that by simply saying table view dot height anchor dot constraint. So we constrain it to an NS to like to an NS layout uh, dimension. In this case, we're just going to do view dot height anchor. So that means we want it to have the same height as the screen of the of, of, of the device, either be an iPhone or iPad. We want we, we want we always want this this uh, table view to have the same height. And we have to set it we have to set the is active to true otherwise it would not show up. Then the next thing we need to do is uh, tell the table view what's the width. And in this case as you guessed it I'm going to set it to be exactly the same the same as the width of the view. And we need to do the same. It's active. It's active. We set it to true. So now we're basically done. Let's just change. Uh, let's just change this to a seven, and then run it. Run the simulator, and you guys would see exactly what I'm talking about. So it should run on this simulator. Just a minute. All right, it's running, and we should see hello on 17 cells. All right, so here we go. You have hello populated on, on all of these cells, looking nice. So that is how you add a table view, just using code without using the storyboard. All right, thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share it with your friends. And you can drop down on the comments on what other tutorials you want to see in the future. Now we'll continue making these tutorials. All right, thank you very much.